Hi YouTube friends, welcome back to the shop. Today, we're working on a Yamaha. This is a 2002 Yamaha V6 Ox 66 225. What we're gonna work on today, right here is the throttle position sensor, this guy. The reason we're gonna work on this is this motor is experiencing a little bit of a choppy throttle. It's glitching, what I mean is when you give it throttle, it doesn't seamlessly go up in the RPMs. It's jumping up in the RPM range. And the fuel mileage has gotten off on this motor a little bit. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna use our uh, handy dandy voltmeter and we're gonna adjust this guy to what the Bible says right here. This is the Yamaha repair manual that I have. And we're gonna get the throttle position sensor at a half a volt, plus or minus, 0.01 or 0.02. So we're gonna go through these steps and I'm gonna show you how we do this right now. The first thing we gotta do, we gotta come over here to the throttle linkage. Right here, we need to take off our top number one linkage. That way this can rest at full idle. So what I do is I put a needle nose pliers behind this plastic linkage. Pop them off just like that. Cycle them a few times. Make sure he's all the way closed. That way we get it full idle for the set of this throttle position sensor. All right, so back over here, here's your throttle position sensor and you follow your pigtail that comes off of it. And this is where it connects to back to the engine. Yamaha makes an adapter that goes from here to here. So you can do basically the same thing I'm doing. It's an $80 uh, wire adapter. Easily, all you can do is take three quarter pins and straighten them out, small ones, and stick them in here and make you a jumper. The next thing I've done is I've got my uh, probe wires, the ones that connect on, and we're gonna probe the orange wire and the pink wire. That's the ones that the book says we need to go after. So we'll turn our meter on, volts DC is showing zero. Now what we have to do to get a readout off of this sensor is, we've got to turn the ignition key on, okay? So go ahead and turn the key on for me, Brooklyn. Turn it just in the run position with the key. Okay, turn it on. All right, come here. So if you look at that readout right there, that's 0.4849. This throttle position is set as close as we could possibly get it to set. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move it and adjust it so you can see the readout on this uh, throttle position sensor. At idle, it should be what the book says, a half a volt. So I'm gonna reset it real quick. And you can watch as I set it, you can see this number change. What we do is loosen these two screws here, Phillips screws. And you can turn this guy clockwise or counterclockwise. See how it changes the output as I'm turning it? What we wanna see is half a volt, 0 0.50, as close as we can get it right there. 4.9 is very close, it gives you. Right there. Once we have him set, we tighten our screws back down and that is perfect. That is all there is to it, to set in this throttle position sensor. Now, I believe the range of it is from idle at half volt and wide open throttle, I believe is 3.8, 3.9. Let's just watch. Now, I'm gonna actuate this. I'm gonna try to actuate it wide open and simulate what it is when you push the throttle. So watch this right here. There's four point two three volts, which I believe in the book it says anywhere to 4.50 to 4.0. And it's holding steady. So that tells me that this throttle position sensor is reading good. And that is back to idle position to 0.50, which is a half a volt, which is factory spec. That is how you test your throttle position sensor. Thank you for watching.